On today's video, we have an Android phone, we have a Miracast dongle, and we have an iSimple Media Link. We're going to combine the three and show you what it does, so stay tuned. So this one is for you Android guys. Androids now support a new feature called Miracast. It's actually been out for a couple years now, it's just kind of slid under the radar because of another feature that everyone thought was cooler, which was Mirror Link. It sucked. It still sucks. But yet, you guys thought it did more than it did. It wasn't a mirror. It didn't mirror the phone. It just gave some accessibility. Blah, whatever. We won't even talk about it. We're here to talk about Mirrorcast. Mirrorcast. Mirrorcast is really cool because it gives you the ability to stream everything wirelessly from the phone to the face of the radio. Today we have the AVH radios. This is any of the AVH radios. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as, uh, well, any, well, not anyone, any one of them that has the AV input. Um, well, yeah, pretty much any of them. We'll yeah. show you how to do it all of them. So if you have a 280, a 270, or a 2800, or a 3800, yeah. doesn't yeah. matter. We'll show yeah. you how to do it all. All right, so let's get to showing you how to do it all first. This one just so happens to be a 2800, which is the same as anything that ends in an 800 or anything that ends in a 700. Now, what you're going to have on the back of the radio right here is your AV inputs. From those AV inputs, you're going to pick up your iSimple media links. Yep. Link in the show notes. You're going to plug those into your AV inputs, which are here, 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 and here. So that's the media links plugged in. Now, if you don't have those AV inputs, because you have, let's say, a 270, a 170, a 280, or a 180. 180. Okay, they're going to have an aux jack on the back that's going to look similar to this guy over here that says aux. For that, you need this guy here first, which is a CA, -A -V, or what, C -A -C C3AV. Boom. Yes. I'll put links to all this stuff in the show notes. What that's going to do is that's going to plug in over here to the aux, and instead, because your radio doesn't have this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to plug your media links cable into these, and then you're good to go. Okay. Now, if you don't have a Pioneer, let's say you're watching this because you're like, oh, cool. Let's say you have a Kenwood. Kenwoods are going to need this. This is actually a Kenwood cable. So you can just pick up one of these just like you did for the Pioneer and you'll be in business. So parts, parts everywhere. All right, so now we have the media links plugged in. What do we do next? Well, now you need the Meerkast dongle. We're going to put a couple of these in the show notes. This just happens to be the dual one. I'd recommend getting the Belkin one. We'll put both though so you can pick. You're going to just plug it in like this. Okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just do this. Whatever you want to do. Plugs in like that. Now, this does need USB power to play. Okay, so it's got a little USB cable. Now, where you plug this in is up to you. It doesn't matter to us. Um, if you plug it into the USB on the radio, you're utilizing the one and only USB. Might not be your best option. You could plug it into a cigarette lighter USB adapter. That would be probably the best option. Yep. Let this do its own thing. That way you don't have to use up yours. For the purpose of this demonstration, though, we are going to plug it into that because we just don't happen to have one laying around. So we're going to spin this unit around and show you what's next. Stay tuned. So we have the radio powered up. If you just so happen to have an 800 or a 700 series radio, the AV comes default off. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to turn it on. Hit the gears. Hit the tools. Scroll down to input output settings. AV input is off. Go ahead and turn that on. X out of there. Go to your drop down. You'll now see that it has added AV input. If you're using any, like, any of the three digit radios, you're just going to tap aux. Go ahead and hit AV. It's going to go to a black screen. Don't freak out. It's just checking to make sure that. And then bam, OK screen comes up. Click that. And now what you'll see is the data screen for whatever dongle you're using. So a couple things it's going to have is the PIN number, the IP address, and the dongle. The reason why it has these things is because all of them are going to be connected via an ad hoc Wi-Fi network. So you're going to open your phone, connect to this network, enter this PIN number, and you're good to go. Then, 
What's next? So with your Android phone, go ahead and unlock it. Scroll down, scroll down. Come over to where its screencast is located. Click more settings. Click here. It's gonna say ready to display. It's gonna do its thing. And boom, you're connected. Get out of here. We can scroll down. Scroll up. Now from here you can display something. Turn the phone. Now keep in mind you're not going to have any control. It's just going to display the phone. Now come over here. Going crazy. Press play. So there you go. So now we're watching. How cool is that? It's still doing its thing. So there you have it. Now you have your phone anywhere you want. All those annoying wires are hidden behind the dash. And you're golden. There you go. Okay. This is the coolest thing in the world. I would think. You still have to charge your phone. But hey, whatever. You know. Yay, right? I mean, come on. Isn't that the best? Isn't that what everyone's always wanted? Yes. Now we're just getting ridiculous. Okay, so now if you're a sad iPhone guy and you just watch this video and you're like, oh, this is so cool. Will this work with my iPhone? No. Heartbreakingly enough, no, it will not work with the iPhone. The only thing it will screencast on the iPhone is Hulu and movie trailers. It will not do anything else because for some reason the iPhone is protected that way. So this is one of those... Android moments where you can go, ha ha, I have an Android and you don't. Because <laughs> I can do everything wirelessly. Yay. So, for a full list of parts, check in the comments below. We'll have everything you need to do this. It'll all be there with links to pick them up on Amazon if you want. If you want to buy it from us, you can call us. We'll sell them to you. Doesn't matter. Um, so, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And if you like this show, please subscribe. If you didn't like the show, subscribe anyway. We might make one you will like. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have a question or anything like that. We'll get back to you. Otherwise, thank you for watching as always. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you later. Bye.